Okay, so this is my first scrawler box. Um, first off, scrawler box is a monthly art supplies subscription box. Um, for the UK, it costs about fifteen pound a month with free delivery. Um, I think international is like five pound extra, but I'm not entirely sure. You're supposed to get about six premium items. Um, so let's open it and see. Um, I haven't actually opened this yet, so a bit of a surprise for all of us. Um, so yeah, let's start opening it. Um, as you can see, it's quite a nice small size. It fits perfectly through um, the letterbox and everything, so I didn't need to go down to my post office and pick it up, which is always nice and handy. So yeah, let's open it up. Alright. Okay, cool. So this must be... All the items. Have a look at the rest of it to start off with. Hey, that's cool. Um, so each month they also have a featured artist, from what I read online. Um, this one is actually really cool. Loch Ness. Uh, Loch Ness is a freelance illustrator, street artist from Bristol. That's quite cool. That's going up on my wall. Have a look. This one. Let's get the box out of the way. Oh, pencil paper. Ten sheets of A5. Is that supposed to be 80 or 220? That's confusing. Okay, you get five sheets of smooth and five sheets of rough. Let's have a look. <laughs> Envelope. Ooh, that is smooth. It's not uber sick, I'd say that's more of a 80 than 220. It is really nice and smooth. Let's open up the interesting stuff. The stuff we pay for. <laughs> Get into the tissue paper. There we go. It's a scroll buds logo sticker. Let's see what we've got. Theme Another Dimension. This month we want you to explore alternate realities. Use the supplies included to create a twisted version of something. You could use a glue and tracing paper to layer one reality over another or create a psychedelic background inspired by this month's featured artist and then add line work to the tracing paper on top. Oh, that's quite a cool idea. Okay, so it's with that tracing paper as well then. So you get chameleon coloured tone pencils. Let's see. Let's take them out of the tissue paper and have a go. Ha, wham, lush. Wham, they so good. All right, so we've got Comedian colour tone pencils, which are these ones. Oh, they're quite. Oh, they're quite a big pencil. And you get a Zig Writer vellum. Vellum. However, vellum. I I don't even. That just feels really weird saying vellum. Um. <laughs> that must be for writing on the tracing paper. And what else we've got? Perfection eraser pencil. What's that one then? Double ended pencil with an eraser eraser core. It can be sharpened with a normal pencil sharpener and is ideal for pinpoint erasing. The pink tip is perfect for graphite and coloured pencils, while the white tip is suitable for removing inks. Oh that could come in handy. And two way glue. Glue pen makes it easy to apply adhesive exactly where you want it. The glue is blue. Blue is blue, the glue is blue. When wet turns clear, but turns clear when dry. Wet glue will give a permanent bond. Dry glue will create a temporary bond. Oh, Each yeah, month they good. also give you, obviously, the scrawler challenge. Um, which is usually based around this month's theme which is Twisted Reality. 
So I'm going to try and use these to draw something, but first I'm going to do a bit of a swatch test with them. So let's try the chameleon pencils first. Oh, they're not bad. Ooh, they got loads of like pigment in. Mm, no, I'll try that pen and then I'll try it. the eraser pencil with it then. So it must be double ended. Let's try. So we've got oh a fat nib. Pretty fat with a pH. Oh. Oh a quite a, well that's a nice little nib. Ooh, I quite like that one. So the one end's got the um fat normal marker end that you usually get with them. The other end's that sort of hard nib rather than like a bullet like fibre nib. That's that plasticky end one which isn't bad. It's quite nice to um, outline with actually. Alright, now what end with what end again? Let's read it. So double ender pencil with eraser core. So ideal for pinpointing racing. The pink tip is perfect for graphite and coloured pencils. So let's use a pink tip. Oh, that's not bad. It has actually removed some of the the pigment. Not as much as I was like expecting, but it's definitely light, lightened, lightened it. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but that's why I've been rubbing out. It's almost like smudged it, but it has erased it at the same time, just very lightly. So that's not bad. And then the white tip is suitable for removing inks. So let's test this one. I know they usually say you can remove rub ink out with it, but it's never true. So let's try this one. No! No, it doesn't. It lies. It's lightened it, but only like fractionately. Like, not an amount at all that counts. That, no. N no just, no, that doesn't work at all. Disappointment! Oh. Dave Castell, what, what is going on? Okay, so we won't be able to erase ink, but it does do coloured pencil, kind of. The other things are cool though. Let's see if I can get into the glue pen and just dab, dab, dab something. See if that works. Oh, why do they always cover them in loads of? Really annoying plastic. Ah! Freedom! <laughs> what was it? The glue is blue when wet. Oh, it's one of those ones that you've got a jab in the end in before you can get the glue. got blue oh it's coming through Ooh. Ooh. oh it is fairly tacky oh that is tacky oh that's gonna come in handy for doing sketchbook stuff no big fat prit stick in my um, pencil case anymore okay so let's have a think and see what we can come up with with these pencils and the 
theme and see what's going on. Let's have a think. Okay, so I've drawn something really quickly. Um, I'm not 100% happy with it, but it's only a quick tester for the materials and stuff. So let's start colouring. Um, work out what to do. I don't know if you can see the very faint outlines of my my drawing. But I've drawn a little woman with some clouds and gloopy hair. Um, so trying to work out what colour to do everything. Um, purple or pink hair? I think purple for a change. Um, so let's give her... Actually, let's do a skin tone first. So I'm going to try to use... Let's sharpen it. I'm going to try to use the tracing paper as well. Do something a bit different. So I've drawn it on the um, smooth paper rather than the rough. Oh, it's smearing with my rubbed out pencils. Maybe I didn't rub them out enough. So I that was coming off of the pencil from the sharpener. I don't know, uh, well, I was struggling with doing Twisted Reality. Um, I started off thinking like a sci-fi landscape and then I remembered I'm not very good at drawing sci-fi landscapes so, so I kind of changed it to a weird like abstract thing um, I don't know why I just find it difficult to draw landscapes I just always draw things and people Maybe I need to work on my backgrounds. Um, actually, that would probably help because I'm writing a webcomic at the moment. Um, I've never done like an ongoing comic or anything before. I like the idea of doing it, so I thought I'd um, start writing it. I mean, I've been had this idea for the last like ten years. It's ridiculous, and I still haven't written it. Um, so I thought I'd start giving it a go, but to do that I need to draw backgrounds. So maybe I should start practicing. I don't know, maybe it'll have to be another ten years before I actually get round to doing any of this. Do you ever like... I, d I don't know, it's, it's like I don't feel like I'm good enough yet to start that project so I've been putting it off and off and off um, but sometimes you just need to to just start it no matter whether you're you are good enough or um, ready for it sometimes you just need to like take that leap forward and it'll lead you to um, better places but it's that initial first step that I keep putting putting off I'm a massive procrastinator I will put anything off that I can Pencils are really liney. I'm not sure I like this. I don't know whether it's the the colour compared to the other pencils. I didn't get this with the, the swatch test. Mind you, I don't usually use colour pencils, so maybe it's just me. 
Who knows? Not I. Maybe it's just where it's smearing in with the rest of the colours. They're quite a hard pencil, they're not like a nice, um, like the nice soft ones that you can get. They're almost like you have to sharpen every few seconds to get back a point. This is taking forever. It's, yeah, it's just hard. I don't know how to explain it. Let's give her some neck shadow, shall we? Quite wa waxy, I think, is probably the better, better term. Left-handed. I'm kind of interested to see what other things turn up in the scroll box. This one's been okay. It's kind of been nice to do colouring pencils again, but I'm not like 100% impressed with the quality of the pencils. However, I am in love with the glue pen, mostly because I keep meaning to buy a new Pritt stick and I keep forgetting. So that's just been worth the entire £15. To save myself the trouble of going and buying a print stick. Oh, I am a lazy, lazy fool. Still, these would be alright to go into my bag, even if I just doodle with them. At least I've got like some sort of a semblance of colour. I mean they're double-ended, which is handy. It's probably really the best part about them, actually. I'm being really negative over this, but actually I'm, I'm, I'm actually really happy with the squirrel box. I mean, I, I kind of can't wait for the next month to see what comes through. Especially because I get a wham bar. Some of the pencils seem to work nicer than the others. Like that purple worked really nicely. And then the, some of the other ones just seem to be like kind of hard and like waxy. Because this one's a bit like it too. Not as bad as the skin tone. But get in there. I don't know if you know what that means when I when I say like waxy. Just not so Hmm. Not quite hundred percent happy with it, but it kind of looks cool at the same time. And I forgot to give her eyebrows. Bit better. Um. Right. Now I'm gonna use this. Outline over the top. 
where it was in the package, it just bent slightly. This is not helpful. So I'm going to go use the blue. Alright, let's try not that end, let's try the cool end. Oh no. Oh yeah it does. I was gonna say, I don't like pens where you can put the lids on the end of them. Um where to start? Let's start with our eyes. So this one's gonna be an eyeliner go. We're drawing on tracing paper. Like you don't seem to you don't get like as much resistance from it. But at the same time I'm getting really nice clean lines. Might have to glue down that side as well. Oh I tell you what. I have a mini clip. Look at his happy little face. Let's clip. It's okay ish. Man, this could be a new technique for me, it's really going well. Okay, I'm much happier now that I've started adding in line, line work. That always seems to happen whenever I do this sort of stuff, like kind of hate it for kind of a while and then the line work just seems to like make it for me kind of always been like that I'm thinking that outline Okay, so I think that's quite cute. What do you guys think? 
the line work has definitely made it. Let's show you that. That was using one of those. So majority of the stuff that I got in my scholar box. Um, yeah, I'm kind of happy with what I got with my scroll box. I mean, it was my first scroll box, so I don't know what I was expecting from it. Um, I really like those. That's really cool. Um, and it definitely works with, with drawing on tracing paper, which is really awesome. And I really like the two-way glue that's staying in my um, pencil case. Those... The Chameleon um, pencils, uh, colour tone pencils, they're okay, they, it's nice that they're two colours, uh, like double ended, um, and the colours are kind of nice, but they kind of feel like cheap colouring pencils. Um, I'm sure they're not because they're, they're made by Chameleon and I know their pens are really expensive. But I haven't really, they don't feel any different colouring with them than colouring with like cheap supermarket pencils. Um, I much prefer my uh, Derwin Colour Soft pencils to those. Um, you just get a nicer finish with those ones than you do with these. Um, but it's nice to try them. I haven't bought an entire set to find out that I really hate using them. Um, it's, yeah, like I say, it's kind of nice that I've tested them out anyway with Chameleon. I haven't felt like I've wasted a load of money with the box, which is always what you want when you're buying a subscription box. You don't want to find out that actually you hate everything inside there. Um, but no, I'm actually really happy with that. That's turned out a lot nicer than I thought it was going to. Um, so I will leave a link in the description for the scroller box um, and I also leave a link to the featured artist for this month's scroller box. Um, his work is actually really nice. Um, so uh, there's his um, details there if you want to do it but I'll leave a link in the description anyway. Um, so thank you for watching. This has been Kind of a nice little review for Scroll or Box. Um, I'm looking forward to next month. Uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to click like and subscribe. Bye.